as we see, the apostles went from their own Jewish culture to other cultures, Greco-Roman culture, which was done by St. Paul. Maybe St. Thomas, when he came to uh, India, whatever manner he will have communicated his message according to the, the needs of society here, you see he won attention and communities were built up. All the missionaries down the centuries who were successful have done similar way. Maybe have the ability to pay attention to culture, show respect to culture, and communicate our message effectively in another cultural context. Thank you for your attention. Your Grace, you were telling us about the attitudes, the mental frame we need to have when we go out on for evangelization. On the other hand, uh, there is definite need for urgency, an immediate thing that has to be done. So uh, as per what you said, we have to really equip ourselves, learn, and then go on to the field, right? So how do we balance both these? When we speak about urgency, you can look at Jesus himself. You read the uh, Gospel of Mark with this intention of seeing what Jesus was doing. He was continuously on the move, continuously active, encountering people, meeting crowds, and addressing uh, groups. And uh, so that's a sense of an urgency. But he always respected the pace of response. He did not command the pace of response. He even said, would you also like to go away from me? Uh, he was not inviting them to go, but he was inviting them to think. So a pace of response is totally the freedom of the individual. That's the freedom that Jesus, God has given to every human person. But our determination to offer the gift creatively and uh, continuous effort is part of our, the mission that we have accepted. So we should never be discouraged with uh, opposition and failure and even, even hostility. But on the contrary, they sh it should be an occasion for us to be more creative in approaching. So the, in the context of India today, with so much of hostility, we should not be imprudent. I often say, don't invite uh, persecution. And I've often noticed, or I, I keep believing that much of the persecution is coming because of our wrong approach or the image that we have created. Not you have created as an individual, sometimes all of us collectively. So a local church collectively can reflect and says, can we do something different in which the same mission can be fulfilled, but in new way and with new emphasis, but in a more creative way, more acceptable way.